Hey everybody, and welcome to another Grizzle Beagle playthrough. This is Dookie Dingo. This is Grizzle. And this is Jot. Today we're going to be doing uh, something a little special. Mr. Soup, forums user and good friend of mine, actually decided to buy a Humble Bundle and gave me some of the extra games that he didn't need. One of those games um, is something just fantastic. It is Sega Bass Fishing. And for your pleasure and enjoyment, and mostly because I now owe Soup because he bought this for me, we are going to be giving you only one, only one video. Enjoy that for Christmas, you horrible, horrible jerks. <laughs> you hear that crying in the background? That's you. <laughs> Press this is Peter so approved, right? <laughs> Yeah, this is how you oh, move the reel, God. I guess. Sure, what the? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, OBS. So you are using Sega a crankbait. Uh, well, well, the there's a bunch you are using a crankbait. Yeah. Well, I'm mean, crankbait just flying this through these menus. Oh. I know. Oh. I was trying to keep it interesting. My eyes. I was eyes. trying to keep it interesting. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Oh. All right, so we're playing arcade mode. Let's see now. So much text. Ah. Oh. <laughs> and Crystal, just for you, I am in fact using the crankbait because the crankbait in this game is seriously you? overpowered. Oh my goodness, that! Oh no. man! Oh no! You have a fish. Man, you wouldn't know you'd hooked a fish if not for that rainbow-colored fish that came up. <laughs> Bites! Uh, what so did you just get through that pole? Yeah, yeah, this game has some wonky collision detection. It's, it's okay. Oh, so well, while I'm like reading it... Collision detection is the fact that the, the line would get wrapped around that. Well, yeah, of course. Which is why you never really want to fish near structures where they can wrap around like that. This is going so fast, I have no idea what to look at. Like, it has to! Look, I only have a minute and 27 seconds right now yeah, but to should catch I... nine more pounds of fish. Why do I need to know the water temperature? And... Oh, uh, because water actual temperature... fish do react differently to water temperature. These fish? Because yeah. these fish look like some kind of ravenous sex mongers. They're just... <laughs> they're running down the lure and raping it, did regardless you, uh, of water temperature. Did you ever see the Dreamcast? Hold on, did you ever see the Dreamcast game Seaman? Uh, I saw a Dreamcast once in a Goodwill a week after they came out. <laughs> Well, no, there was actually a Dreamcast game that came out that was called Seaman, and the whole purpose of it was, like, you could plug in, uh, you could plug in the microphone to the back of your Dreamcast controller and talk to this fish that had the face of a man and this weird, like, prehensile appendage on its, on its upper forehead, uh, which it used to feed, and it was really strange, but it kind of had, it had graphics a lot like this. Okay. I think this game was originally for the Dreamcast. Ah, oh, fish! Ah, hit bonus, line tension, ah, it's like a furniture. <laughs> so um, I didn't actually capture it, but whenever you first start up this game, it gives you an epilepsy warning. It's like if you or anyone watching this game has problems with epilepsy or any type of seizure, please, please discontinue usage. If you don't have problems with epilepsy, you will by the time it's over. My goodness. <laughs> you do now. Also, his genes are so you tight. Mullet? Does your character have a mullet? <laughs> Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, for some reason, this Look, watching this game, watching this game makes me want to buy wholesale furniture. Explain that. <laughs> what? It's because the graphics are similar. No, no, seriously, the graphics are similar. <laughs> As someone who has made a wholesale furniture commercial, that is what they want. They yeah, want that was actually like this. a wholesale furniture no. supplier was a major client of mine when I worked in advertising. <laughs> Oh yeah, well, I worked uh, for a rent-to-own store, and we did wholesale furniture, so there. I'm talking about like the you big warehouse place. I sold it. And then I had to carry it up and down the stairs. Eat that. Well, obviously, that is the uh, that's the best thing to do with wholesale furniture. Look how tight his pants are. I buy furniture just so I can carry it. Seriously. Oh, I got a popper. Oh my Yeah, goodness. once you catch a certain Jeez. weight, like once you catch a certain weight or number of fish, um, you get special lures. Oh, you can see the little... Uh, <laughs> shadows of fish hanging out. Go fish, go! Go fish, go! You know, this reminds me of the uh, fishing game from Ocarina of Time, if you set everything on fire. 
that, that is that is an unfair comparison. All right, that is unfair. Where do you see fire? <laughs> Sorry, it's coming from my where? pupils. I think the graphics started it. <laughs> it, is, it is not that bad. I all right. Uh, I actually. I what's actually your drag on, Diego? Game. I don't like. I, there's not actually a drag setting on this. There's not. This is, uh, I'm calling. I'm calling shenanigans. If there's not drag setting, this is not true bass fishing. <laughs> You know, when when somebody describes a fishing game, I'm thinking it's gonna be like this peaceful, Whee! relaxing type thing. Boy, I could take a nap during oh, a modern warfare up. game over this one. <laughs> um, all right, so it 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 should bear noting here that uh, the original Sega bass fishing was developed as an arcade game, um, and so they actually had arcade cabinets where you know you had the the little plastic rod and reel and everything, and, and you had to turn the rod a certain way. And you had to, you know, if you could crank the, if you cranked it fast or you cranked it slow, it made a difference. All the other good stuff. Mm -hmm. I am trying to replicate those movements with a keyboard. <laughs> so, give me, so give me some leeway. Wait, I, I do have a uh, question, though. I do have a question. Was it a rail fisher? I was actually yes, because you can't uh, you can't move. It's, if anything, it's like a turret fisher. <laughs> the rainbow <laughs> fish word is just oh, killing uh, me. The larger, the larger the fish uh, that you that you snag, um, the more time it gives you for the hit bonus. So six seconds is going to be a really big fish. Four seconds is a medium sized fish. Two is a small fish. Uh, live pigeon. Live pigeon. I know. I see it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> I like how he like he looks like he's having a hard time lifting this up, right? He's like, oh god, oh, my sciatica. Yeah, it's pounds. only eight pounds. <laughs> how <laughs> how out of shape are you when you're having a hard time lifting eight pounds? Well, with the tightness of his jeans, I'm just assuming there's not much wow. blood in his body. I'm trying there, to think if I is. should show off. Uh, well, there's there's more lures than this, but I'm trying to think if I should show off a different lure. But I will not catch any fish. Because the deep crank is really just it's it's just the tits. Like it's so good. <laughs> I, I'm just amazed at how realistic that SUV looks. <laughs> Through the rock, there you go. Through the rock. Well I went over it. I went That's over where the it. fish are. I almost hooked that fish in the side of the eye. Did you see that? <laughs> That's my oh, way so to catch it. You were going to foul with the, foul with the fish. Okay, actual, on, Bruno, actual fishing story here. Okay, I have an actual fishing story. Uh, my cousin, uh, who was a bit of a whiny brat when we were kids, got mad because he couldn't catch anything in a canal, so he started slinging his hook down in the water as hard as he could. And he actually hooked a fish in the chest. And it came out oh, flying God. through the air, spewing blood. Like its chest was actually <laughs> oh, spurting no. blood. And as it flew towards us, bait. I actually saw in its eyes the terror and the surprise that it was the one that got hooked. <laughs> uh, I have a I have a fishing story. So I was I was out fishing in South Louisiana, and. I, I felt like I got hung on a log, so here I am just trying to crank into this log, thinking I'm going to pull up this huge log. Well, what comes out of the water? Not a fish, not a log. It was a stingray. <laughs> oh, <laughs> were you, uh, yeah, were you on the coast? Yeah, were you on the coast? That, that the happens marsh. pretty often. Yeah, well, not I don't know about marsh. the marsh, but no. I mean, if it was a saltwater marsh, I'm it's assuming it was a saltwater water. marsh. Bra oh, okay, it's brackish. Brackish. Yeah. Um, I used to live in uh, Florida, and anytime we would, oh, here's where I get my buttons com confused. I don't know <laughs> buttons. Um, no, we used to live in uh, we used to live in Tampa. We would fish off the causeway, and yeah, you could catch some humongous stingrays, catfish, all kinds well, of stuff. Well, let me put it like this: in the in the many years I've been fishing down in that area, it's only happened to me once. What that fish? Dad almost that caught fish. a seagull. <laughs> I, I, I feel game. like you're gonna need. I feel like you're gonna need a, a, a certain type of stamp on your fishing license <laughs> to catch seagulls. seagulls. All right, I was actually. <laughs> he was he was working the topwater bait across the water, and a seagull swoops down, picks up the bait, and starts to fly off with it. <laughs> <laughs> and that's when he pulls right. and hooks it. Uh, All right. So since we're talking about since we're talking about uh, fishing stories, <laughs> that fish he gulped at something that wasn't there anymore. Um, fish. 
So one time, I, I had been up for I had been up for 48 hours straight. I had been up 48 hours working. I was extremely tired, and my wife and I had to go to Walmart for some reason. I don't remember why, but anyway, while we were out there in the parking lot were seagulls, and I remember getting just so pissed off that there were seagulls <laughs> so far away from the ocean. There's not an ocean within. 200 miles, 300 miles of here, and, like, I was yelling. I, I got out of the, like, I parked the car, got out, and approached the seagulls yelling as hard as I could. I was so pissed off at those seagulls, because there is no sea. There is only gold. <laughs> there is only school. Hey, uh, so, are you guys, do you guys, uh, you guys know what Batman hates? <laughs> Skeletons. Skeletons. <laughs> Guess what's at this level? Skeleton. Go home, Skeletons. <laughs> Go home, Skellington, you're drunk. <laughs> you're not supposed here, to be here. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Alright, so the fish is obviously not there. It's terrified of the skeleton. Where is fish? Yeah, if you're not gonna hook the skeleton, let's just turn this video off. <laughs> I, I, I can't. I wish. It functions the same as a rock. Alright, I do Such have to say... Fishing. So after life, you go through it. I have to say for one more... No oh, fish! Um... With uh, the absolute best, <laughs> the absolute best fishing story I have, Altamaha Hall Swamp, South Georgia. I hook something, started to reel it in. I pull it above the water. It's a white Bengal tiger. So then we pull it in the boat. Oh, wow. And Hold on, watch this. Look, he's he's one foot away. One foot away. I'm out of time. Zero feet. I don't get the fish. Are you kidding me? Well, there's some know. shenanigans. If I was in the arcade, that would have cost me another quarter. <laughs> That's a real shame. Oh, goodness. <laughs> that wire is also hooked through his gills. <laughs> ah, here I am messing up buttons again. I don't button good. <laughs> Man, you could you could hit every button. I wouldn't have to do what was going on. I still can't keep up with the... Just the basic graphics on the screen. Grandmaster? You were in, yeah, like, round Grandmaster. three before I even realized you were choosing a lure. <laughs> oh, and, uh, in case you guys were wondering... Oh, Dookie? Nope, nope, that's wrong. That's wrong. <laughs> Alexander Dingo. Dad? Dookie Alexander Dingo. It just dad. says dad. I know, what better what better name for a fishing game than dad? What happened to the classic just putting your name as ass? I was also number, I was also number one, too. <laughs> oh, look, and Crankbait, because Crankbait in this game's overpowered. And here's oh, the hero of the God, story. Now we can look at all the... <laughs> that statue. <laughs> yeah, that was a weeping angel. <laughs> oh, thank God, fish don't bleed. <laughs> no, now the the weeping angels are useless underwater. The fish are just like. <laughs> Why does everything have to go back to Doctor Who with you idiots? I saw a weeping angel. We've been talking about Doctor Who in several videos. Yeah, and I never talked about it. I know, but it, I haven't even but watched it. I knew it in that like it was lurking. Year. It was lurking in the background, like cancer that was in remission. Okay, yeah, yeah, it's not there right now, but you know, it's just waiting. It's biding its time. Oh, see, wait, you see that yet, like we don't reference the same things over and over. Okay, how many videos is it gonna be until we make a Star Wars reference or a Star Trek reference? Well, you just did. <laughs> or so, Nicolas I mean, Cage it's... or Jurassic Park. <laughs> Clever girl. I'm a fisherman. <laughs> I'm a fisherman. Sega. <laughs> Sega. <laughs> <laughs> All right. How long are the credits? Sega, please don't. Uh... <laughs> well, that's it. <laughs> that's it. That's the copyright stuff. However, that is not the end of the video. I'm oh. going to show off some extra stuff. All right. Well, thank you for oh, wow, this. Oh, exciting! Thank you. All right. What does SBFA stand for? What do you think? I have no idea. <laughs> I know it. I know about BASS. You know, circular seals like that are always best when you squish them in a graphic. Game Just over. <laughs> Game over. Oh, look at that! That's a nice reflective text there. Yeah, I thought that. I mean, that was honestly the best in the entire game. We oh, found Photoshop. Here's look mom. what we can do. Here's mom. I was heck? dad. Now I'm mom. Look at those. Look at those early '90s pants, man. Her hips look out of proportion. Oh yeah, she's dying. <laughs> Wait, what am I doing? I missed. I messed I up again. No, Mrs. 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 Dingo. <laughs> Oh, and there's a whole there's a whole separate three areas that we can go to. God, how many things? Let's can go we check out the bridge. 
You can <laughs> change, speak you rating. change the conditions. Uh, rating is actually the best. <laughs> oh, and of course, because the fish are. Where's Zipthar? I haven't seen Zipthar yet. <laughs> Where's the Zipthar? Zipthar is the destroyer of worlds. It's the collectible. <laughs> All right, now I'm going to use a straight worm in the dumbest way possible. Who are you in ready? the hell is moving that boat? <laughs> Mom's I don't using know, it with the power of her mother. Ooh, that's an icky lore. Yeah, this is literally <laughs> the way you're supposed to do it. What are you doing? That's not how you work a worm. It's, it's how you work this one. It's stupid, it's wrong, but it's how they say to do it. It's a bottom lure. Yeah, it is a bottom lure. It's it so is dumb. a bottom lure, but that's not how you use a bottom lure. But this what? one, it is. Dragging it over something where it could be hooked? Yes! <laughs> Actually, surprisingly, with this game, if you drag the lure over solid objects, it makes more noise, and fish are more likely to attack it. <laughs> fish are like zombies. through the pedal of the trolling motor. All right. Hold on, I'm trying to. Exit! 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 There we go. Okay. Okay. We... And that's Sega Bass fishing. Is, is that the it. end? That's all of it. That's the end. That is the end of the video. What do, what um, do we talk about now? Well, uh, final <laughs> thoughts. Uh, Kreslov, go. <laughs> Not how you pass fish at all. <laughs> Bass fishing, time crisis style. You should have just used a gun. It's the same thing. A dynamite, that's how I fish. Just yeah, take right? a stick of dynamite in the water. <laughs> Is that your I've actually thought? not been bass fishing in years. Um... Uh, uh, it's a, it's a thing. Um, I'm not gonna judge <laughs> sure it too harshly. Good. I mean, it, it was a, it, it was you know, back before games were what they are now. I remember playing bass fishing on, uh, I think it was, uh, N64. I had a, I had a bass fishing game on N64. I used to play. Uh, so I'm not gonna judge it too harshly. I mean, it, it was a humble bundle, and it was a Sega game. It was um, given to me by, it was given to me free. So. Yeah, it was given to you free, so I'm not going to judge the game harshly. I'm actually not even going to judge the game. It is what it is. It's it's an old game. It's not something for us to judge. It existed, and it's going to exist. And it's going to continue to exist as long as things are sold that were on Sega. <laughs> All right, Johnson. It's, what about you, buddy? Hold on, I have to. I have to look at this phrase. It's not for us to judge. <laughs> oh, oh, the flaw in that's, that thinking. That's pretty much all we do. Um, that's pretty much all we well, do. Okay, we okay, okay. We we review we review Left for Dead things because people Kretzler. to to tell to guide people hey. in Left for Dead Kretzler, rap process. Can you take, hey, Kreslov, take the mic huh? out of your mouth, dude. You're <laughs> you're over modulating a little bit. It's been the same position. It's been the same position. It's been in this entire okay. Time. Well, Actually, quit ducking your lips. Then, like, quit pursing your lips <laughs> like a duck because you were eating the microphone. Um, okay. Right. We we judge we judge Left 4 Dead maps to to help guide people on that. We 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 do Batman and Dark Souls because those are games that people may purchase. I don't think anyone's actively looking to to has a moral quandary about whether or not they're going to buy Sega Bass. Well, sometimes, and you can look at something like the Holocaust, and you say we're going to we're going to talk about how bad and terrible this is so it never happens again. And this is a similar situation where you have to clear the way and make sure that this never occurs. That is terrible. That is, that really, oh, you are comparing, you are comparing right, wait, an I arcade want... bass fishing game to the systematic murder of eight million or six million Jews. Okay, no, I'm relating the you, principle that, that bad the things should not be repeated. You... Wait, hold up. You are you are the one that c consistently judges Dingo on his harsh view of games, and you are doing the exact same thing here. On the harsh view of games, I have a harsh view of a game when I feel that you're, it's merited. You feel like you a, ma this merits a Holocaust? No. It's an arcade, it was a, Again, this was made like in the ninth. It's RK 1980s bass fishing if, game. If no, there were like, a break in the conversation like, right, for me like to speak. If there were a break, what I would say is I'm not comparing it to the Holocaust. I actually didn't say that at all. What I said was that the principle is that you keep bad things from happening by mentioning that they do. The best example of that would be the Holocaust, for which we have museums. We probably do need a museum for this game. <laughs>
Now, now wow. let me explain why. Let me explain why. Uh, there is okay, a pr- there's explain. a principle in design that if everything is important, then nothing is because you have no priorities. Uh, so visually with this one, it's not that everything that was important. It's that everything was trying to kill you. I could barely see the fish <laughs> because of the what? words flying around the screen and the things flashing at me. It was terrifying. It, was, it, it could cause somebody who has PTSD <laughs> to go into severe shock. It was remarkable how much was flashing at once. <laughs> it was okay. like a disco right, ball me, of fishing. I don't quick, understand what I was defense. seeing. Quick defense. <laughs> that is a, a very hallmark des- design decision for early arcade games because with the flashing lights that and the, never and the made it good. music and everything else. Well, no, because it made you get excited. Like, it got your adrenaline pumping, and it made you <laughs> okay. want to continue pumping <laughs> not, quarters in there. Okay, that's defend, exactly what I'm my wholesale furniture defend. clients <laughs> used to say. Yeah, uh, okay, look, I'm no, not going to defend the design choice, there, but I am going to say... Ugly. Go ahead. I am going to say it's a product of its time. It's a product of its time. I'm not going to say it's merited. I'm not going to say it's good. I'm not going to say so is anything you guys one way or other about it, but it was a product of... So was slavery. I'm not... I'm not critiquing the game. I'm not oh, please critiquing don't. the game. I'm saying please simply... Don't. I'm saying simply the game was a product of its time. Uh, so was my grandfather, and he's a racist. Is that what you want? <laughs> you're a racist. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dingo, your thoughts. I I don't know. Maybe it's because I actually played the game, but I actually kind of dig it. It's it's mindless and fun, and yeah, is it the prettiest thing that's ever graced my computer screen? Absolutely not. Is it in the but... top one hundred? No, it's not. <laughs> but it's still. Fun. It's still fun, and it is a very early '90s Sega, or, you know, early '90s Sega game, and it's it's you know with the flashing noises and lights and everything. I'm easily amused. I'm a dingo. I have very low frontal <laughs> cortex ability. Dingo like shiny. <laughs> dingo like shiny and, and loud noises. Um, I, I don't know. It's to me, it it's not a very deep or complex game. It's something that I can just pop in and, oh, I think I'll catch some fish. And, you know, ten minutes have passed and I've caught a hundred pounds of fish. Do you have any idea how many hours it would take for me to catch a hundred pounds of fish in real life? And I don't even eat fish. What am I supposed to do with that hundred pounds of fish that I've caught that I don't want to eat? Because the pond I pulled them out of was a, a subsidiary a subsidiary runoff for the paper mill down the street. Come on, you I don't throw want them it. back. That's what you do. I, I then, do have then one I'm just rebuttal. A dick. No, if you are hooking and throwing back, you're a dick. Because now you are literally just. It, it's like walking down the street and randomly giving people mouth piercings. It's like, hey, you want a hook in your mouth? Snag. You're a dick. Don't do that. Don't do that. If you're going to catch them, at least eat them. Make their pain mean something. Uh, one rebuttal to the fact Ranch that you over. like it, though. Okay. Uh, I have you, terrible opinions. No, you are a dingo. That means that you have two color con receptors and dual chromatic vision. It was not nearly as difficult for you to see those graphics. Why did you have to pull up my my shocking disability? Why did you have to do that? Did you Google me? No, I just no. I know things about dogs. I feel uncomfortable. That's right. I'm offended. Did he get you a doll dingo for the court? <laughs> we should probably where, where did the job Whoa, what just touch you? happened what the hell <laughs> I don't know what <laughs> did, did somebody just park their truck what was that uh, anyway all right <laughs> before the parking lot gets full can we <laughs> take us out dingo <laughs> okay um well guys if you enjoyed the video feel free to uh like comment subscribe share all that good jazz um, hit us up on Twitter, Facebook, um, Steam Group. Steam Group, Steam group is, is live and kicking. We've been playing some TF2 Man vs. Machine, which is awesome and way better looking than this game. Um, <laughs> we are going to be doing our uh, Left 4 Dead thing, the Left 4 Dead Versus, this Friday. Right, guys? Is that is that the plan or is that next oh, Friday? Oh, is it this Friday? That's um, fine with me. Yeah, I guess we can do this Friday. Yeah. Okay, that'll be uh, that'll be Friday then. So start clearing off your calendars. Left for Dead Two. 
Um, yeah, and uh, as always, shout out to Something Awful. Thank you guys so much. We love you all. Uh, boo, boo, boo. Am I missing anything? Thanks, I don't Soup. think so. Th oh, Thanks, yeah, Soup. Mr. Soup, thank you so much for the game. Thank you so much. You're, you're awesome. And uh, if anyone else just feels the burning passion to buy us games, fe please feel free. <laughs> You know, we're not going to stop you. We're not going to complain about it. Uh, but as always, this is another Grizzled Beagle playthrough, and this is Dookie Dingo. This is Kresliff. And this is Johnson. I hope you guys had more fun watching than Johnson did. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. <laughs> it burns so good. All right.